Hey guys, so I got this little lamp there from Dollar Tree. And my friend and my friend Hugo and I were on live the other night and he was thinking up what he was gonna do with it. So we kinda came up with let's put a picture inside, let's do the outside. So I was like, I'm gonna try to sub it. So I got one, which I had already got these for Halloween. So they're already done and painted. So you can paint whatever you want to do. We were coming up with all kind of ideas. So I was like, I'm going to try subbing it. So I've already made a template for it. It's just here, I've already taken it apart. Now he took his apart and they came apart very easy. This one was a little bit of a struggle to get apart. So one of the little pieces up here broke off. But when you put it back together, put it back together with wood glue, it should be fine. I'm probably just going to do um, put mine together with um hot glue with the hot glue gun because i'm gonna be doing it on tiktok live so depending on where you see this video there will be a tiktok video posted soon after i do the live so uh, again i took it apart so there's just the bottom base the light the light does work It comes on and everything. So I made my template for all my pieces. Now when I put it back together, I probably won't put the front on. I'm not sure yet. We'll see when we get that far. So you got the top, the bottom, and the pieces. Now I have some a laminate film here. I just got this film the other day that just says back to let me know that the frosted side is the back. And what I'm going to do, the pieces that I will be eliminating, I mean subbing, which I'll probably do all of them just in case, just in case. I'm just going to lay the side that I'll be um, subbing to down on the sheet, the laminate sheet, and I'll tape it down, tape each one of them down and see... They originally come with a sticker on the back. That lets you know that's the back. So you want this side down. So you want that sublimated. And I know I'm out of view here, but that's as far as my thing will reach. So yeah, I'll have all that down. Then I'll put tape on it. Then I'll take it over to the heat press. And I'll press it at 360 for 60 seconds. I'll press it at 360 for 60 seconds. And then I'll take and cut them apart and then just take my X-Acto knife and let it lay down and just cut the excess film so it will be flush. Then once I do that, I will print out my image. Print out the image and then line the pieces up accordingly. I'll be making a few templates for this and I'll probably do a plain template as well but when I lay it down you'll be able to see some of the image around the wood that gives it a bleed so you can ensure that you will sublimate the whole image so I will do that and just the side that's laminated lay it down like so and I'm going to even do this one just in case I may or may not use it. So, it'll kind of look like that. So, you'll be able to see some of the image around. Give you, It gives it a bleed. So, it laminates the whole, I mean, sublimates the whole image. Then, I'll put it back together. And I'll put it under, after I get this down, now tape it down, I'm going to put it under the heat press for 360 degrees at 60 seconds and it will laminate so this was a quick run through of what i will be doing because when i do this i only have one or else i would have did it live or did it on this video but i only have one so i wanted to do the a quick run through of what i will be doing If you give it a try, let me know.
Okay, so there I'm just taking my great grandma's picture and replacing it with the template. Um, replacing it in the place of the template picture that I have put there. And so I'm just getting it set up so I can print the file. So I can sublimate the Mitch pieces. So I'm just adding her picture into that template, design template that I created for the lantern. It's printing now while I'm talking there on live about getting ready to sub, I mean, to laminate the wood pieces. So I'm just laying them all down, face down on the side that I want to um, laminate, then sublimate. So I'm placing them in the heat press at 360 for 60 seconds. You'll see me lift it up several times and I'm just unsticking it from the paper and then sticking it back down. And that's so I don't overheat it. So instead of doing one long press, I'm doing several. I think I did three at the most there. So um, 360 for 60 seconds. And here I am just taking the X-Acto knife and removing the excess film. So we can prepare it for sublimation. I was talking about laminating those wood, also pieces from Dollar Tree, those wood shapes. And the new laminate I just gotten on Friday is what I was using. I ordered from Amazon in a roll. I think it was 25 inches wide and 500 feet. 500 feet rolls. I got two rolls. So I laid them face down on the side I want them to laminate on. Put them under the press 360 for 60 seconds. I use that a lot because it's a safe place for me. They laminated well. And I know that you can use the film. Um, I mean the vinyl, the white vinyl, or you can laminate straight to the wood and spray. But I was testing to see how my laminate worked and how it looked on the lantern without any white backing, any painting or any vinyl, any of that. I know I could laminate to it and use clear coat, but we were doing this in the raw. So if you give it a try, let me know, tag me so I can see. And I wasn't sure if I was going to use that front piece or not, but turns out I liked it. I did like it. Now, this will pop more. The colors will stand out more if you use a white backing. You can paint it. You can rhinestone it. You can do whatever. You can do it with stickers. If you don't have sublimation, you can do that with sticker. That's that sticker paper I was showing. 